Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Lazy Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you may install Endurance 10 Watt Deluxe Laser on Artillery Side Winder X1 3D printer. So here is our guy, everything looks normal. Um, you see our extruder, everything's fine. So we need to remove the fan first, then plug into uh, fan 1 pin and we are ready to go. So as you can see, we remove the fan one and we also need to remove the side block from here because we need to wire to fan one pin. So here is our pin that we are going to use, fan one. So we just need to remove it and we usually send a two pin connector and um, just plug it in. And uh, don't forget that sometimes uh, it has inverse polarity. So plus it's red, normally black is ground, but here we checked on uh, a multimeter and we have inverse. So we have uh, negative on red and uh, 12, 24 volts on black. And uh, keep in mind that our lasers work from 24 volts PWM. So we're using our advanced 3D printed uh, laser mount. It's uh, quite universal. You can find the design on Thingiverse uh, and check endurance lasers mount. So it's quite universal and very, very good fit for particular, for, for this 3D printer. Like we always tell, uh, the installation process would not take you more than 10, maybe 15 minutes. And you can see that we're doing it pretty fast right now so as you can see we almost done we put it here so we need to screw it tightly and it's almost uh, almost done with uh, hooking up the laser so as you can see everything looks good and we're ready to to start the engraving process Okay, so we so now we need to adjust the height. So uh, the laser endurance lasers are already pre-focused. So you just need to set up a proper uh, focal range from the laser to surface, and we put our painted black and a black uh, uh, aluminum plate uh, card. Okay, we use Lightburn software. It's quite easy to connect. Uh, it has Marlin uh, firmware. We just use the same profile as we use for any Cubic. COM4 is a port. Uh, everything's ready, it's connected, and we're going to engrave endurance. Um, the laser parameter is 99%, and uh, 50 millimeters per minute is our engraving speed. Okay, so as you can see, it engraves, and I'll show you the final result. Um, you can also use um, air assist. We just don't need it for laser engraving. We're doing it at home and once you operate the laser don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser. So looks awesome and hope that you guys like this video. Please share it with your friends. Don't forget to visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. My email is gf at endurancerobots.com and if you have any questions, let me know. GR, oh, sorry, uh, my phone is plus seven nine one six two two five four three two. I'll be more than happy to assist and answer your questions. And have a great and wonderful experience with endurance lasers. Bye-bye.